So behind me is a huge alluvial fan um, that's right here near Badwater Basin. So if you take a look back here, right, we've got the mountains that are up there. And believe it or not, it does rain in Death Valley. Not that often, but it does rain. Um, not that long ago, they got their thousand year flood. Um, and what that means is it doesn't mean it's gonna rain necessarily here, but it's gonna rain up in the mountains and then all that water washes down. And if you look right back here behind me, you can see where all that water washes down. And as that water comes down, it's moving pretty quick. It's picking up all of these big pieces back here and bringing them down. And of course, when it gets to the base of the mountain, it slows. And when that water slows, it can't carry the material anymore so it gets deposited and that's this nice big alluvial fan now it's also pretty neat and unfortunately we can't see it from here from where we are let me hopefully I don't make you dizzy I'm gonna turn around back here you see the nice beautiful salt flat back here behind me but all on these terminal edges of um, the alluvial fan are liquefaction features so liquefaction remember happens after you get a nice big rain okay the water is soaked saturated it can't hold any more water you might get an earthquake right and of course as we discussed in a previous video this area is very tectonically active so as the ground shakes what happens is all the sediment is going to go temporarily into suspension in the water it temporarily dissolves in the water and the ground turns liquid and I know unfortunately we can't see it and it's just too hot I'm not I can't go walk out there and of course in national parks we like to stay on the trails there's some really cool liquefaction cracks all around the base of this alluvial fan from previous events. So, um, again, right, here's this big beautiful alluvial fan behind me. It's quite amazing.